Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Charts. It is the Crypto Flight Edition. It is Napoleon Macro speaking with an update on the Doge Warren price action. I have some news for the long term investors. I actually found some sort of structure that is attempting to form right now as we speak. We're going to pull that up on the chart, make it simple for everyone to understand. Take a look at the weekly candles, perhaps crank it down to the daily candles. Take a look and see what's going on in there and make this. Um, yeah, short, straight to the point video. I have a potential price target that will come to fruition if it stays above a level. I'm going to give you those two levels before we end the video out. So let's make it a short and sweet video. Guys. Welcome back, loyal family. If you're new here, we only explore price action. Thanks for sticking around on my loyal subscribers. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here. So. So today's uh, October the 25th, 2022, when the current price of Dogecoin is six cents, slightly positive 7% for the day. Okay. All right, guys, let's see here. So I don't have anything on the chart, just a, you know, a naked chart looking at the weekly candles. I guess we could just kind of look back. Uh, this is the Coinbase chart. Not really sure why I'm on Coinbase. But uh, either way, uh, hopefully we're all clear. Dogecoin, although... Uh, it does look pretty nice, you know, nice move up today. Dogecoin is and has been walking down the stairs for quite some time. As far back as May, as, um, as, as far as what I'm looking at here on the Coinbase chart, uh, walking down the stairs, lower lows, lower highs, continuing to walk down. And I think on our previous videos, uh, basically what we're looking for is uh, some sort of structure to form. Uh, me personally, I'd like to see about a three-month minimum structural foundation to form now whether or not it makes a three-month structural foundation you know just because it's my preference doesn't mean it's actually going to happen guys just from my brief experience in the markets um, i tend to see the structure that lasts the longest produce the bigger um, the more substantial moves when the when it breaks out of that structure so if you're new and you're like dude what is a structure i have no idea what we're talking about all right so i'll just pull that up for you it's typically uh, a range of candles, uh, you know, green and red candles. And as I'm just kind of outlining it here, again, these are weekly candles. Right now, I think I measured it before the video. It's like 63 days. So the most recent structure that I was able to find on Dogecoin starts with, with this uh, red candle down here. It's just kind of uh, back in August 2022. It goes within this structure. And if you're asking like, you know, like, dude, how do you find structure? You're just making stuff up. Uh, you look for the candle's bodies, okay? The candle's bodies that extend the furthest out away from a range. So in this case, again, weekly candles, it's going to be these two candles right here. Uh, September the 12th-ish and uh, September the 19th-ish, okay? Like these two candles. So you just kind of take that little, I'm using tradeview.com, by the way, and just take a little rectangular box and then you just kind of outline the bodies, right? Something like that. And then, of course, the top portion of the range, you do the same thing. You just look for the candle's bodies. In this example, we're going to look at uh, September the 5th, 2022, and uh, the September the 12th candle, these two candles here. And then I just kind of pull it down, something like that, okay? And basically, the, the range right now would be, according to the weekly candles, you can actually do this on multi-time frames, but just choose the time frame that you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable with the weekly candles and higher. Uh, in this case, we're just going to use this example for the weekly candles. And um, yeah, so again, just find a time frame that you're comfortable with, preferably on the weekly or higher. You can start with the daily, right? If you don't have much experience, I'm no expert, okay? But I've been doing this for some time and I feel as though I'm okay with it, right? But not an expert, okay? Uh, so the range right now is going to be in between... So right now it's at the top of the range. So don't be surprised if there's a little bit of resistance that comes in the market like right now. Okay, uh, The range is going to be 0 0.0574. Again, this is the Binance. Sorry, Coinbase. All right. So it's about five cents. And the top of this range could be measured at about um, 0 0.6. Sorry, 0 0.06. Three nine zero. Again, guys, just pull up your charts, pull up the weekly candles, and you can get a better uh, n level or number, right? According to the exchange that you're using by pulling up the weekly candles and aligning the candles' bodies. All right, again, this uh, range is only going to be for 63 days. Uh, that's about it's about two months, right? I'm saying I'm looking for a minimum of three months. So. 
hey, if that were to take place, that'd be great. Another month within this range, I would actually start to become interested in uh, entertaining a position in Dogecoin, you know, for like maybe short or midterm uh, for Dogecoin. No, no disrespect to the long term investors. OK. And um, yeah, I said that I do have a price target. So let's go over that. It's not really like an extreme price target. Uh, we're looking at a potential move higher if the market continues. Um, about another 7.5% to the upside from the current level. Um, and again, that is only under the assumption that it stays above the previous level of resistance. And that level can be right about here. And if you want to just know how I got that, I'm just looking at the candles by this, guys. It's so simple. Um, if you look closely, <coughs> excuse me, you see the candles bodies like right here in this little area here. That's going to be at uh, 0 0.06227. All right, so if you if you're someone who looks at like the lower time frame, like the one hour candles or you know 15 minute candles, God, please don't go lower. Um, I mean, it's it's up to you, right? If you have experience, uh, but what I would do is like I would always at least take my resistant levels from the daily candles or higher, right? In this case, this is the weekly candles. So let me just show you how it looks as I crank it down to the uh, 12 hour candles. All right, so you see that. You see how I took the resistance level from the weekly? It's like right here at this level at point. Let me just make it a different color so you can actually see it. I don't think you guys can see it, but I just want to make it a different color. Right there. So this is basically the weekly resistance. Like sometimes I would actually do this, right? Like weekly resistance, something like that. And just kind of mark it so that way you'll know how you got that line. And moving forward, you know, when you're looking at the, uh, the one hour, 50 minute candles, you know that this will be a significant level of uh, potential support, right? If we can actually stay above this level right now, it's above it, right? And if it starts to come back down, uh, more likely than not, you'll see some sort of reaction at this level uh, when it because right now it's already it's already penetrated that level right to the to the upside. And if it tries to just kind of gracefully have a touchback. And, you know, it just so happens to have a bounce there. You'll have somewhat of an idea of why that level is acting as support. OK, because it's a weekly resistance level. OK, it's kind of turned into a small lesson here. But I just wanted to go over a few levels, but hopefully, you know, you got a little bit of information there. Uh, we know you when you are looking at the lower time frame candles. And so I guess let's just go and wrap things up here. A 7.5 percent move to the upside potentially incoming if. The market stays above the previous level of resistance from the weekly candles, and that's going to be at about 0 0.06223, according to the Dogecoin um, price action here, or yeah, according to the Dogecoin Coinbase setup here. And again, that 7.5% uh, move to the upside is going to be approximately uh, 0 0.068. Three, six. These numbers are super weird, guys. But yeah, you just have to pull up your chart. Look those levels up by looking at the weekly, uh, daily or weekly resistance levels are higher. And of course, cranking it down to the normal time frame that you look at, whether it's the 15 minute or lower or one hour or whatever your preference. OK, so that is going to wrap up this video. Uh, Dogecoin appears as if it wants to, um, you know, have a really nice move here in the short term assuming it stays above the resistance weekly resistance uh dogecoin has been a buy ever since back in june 2022 so uh even if the market does move lower here in the short term i think that that's just going to present a better buying opportunity for the long-term investors if you guys have been buying at these levels um and that's going to wrap everything up here guys remember this is not financial advice uh, i'm just giving you up some noob on youtube giving you some weird squiggly lines and levels according to what I understand with my brief knowledge in the markets. Okay. That's how we're going to end the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And that was enough information for everyone. So if you don't mind doing me a huge favor before you go by simply leaving an appropriate thumb, I'd appreciate it uh, below the video and also leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm can promote this video on the channel. Thank you for your kind support. If you guys knew, we also explored the traditional stocks throughout the week. So you can kind of join us from time to time. You can kindly join us here on this interesting journey, and we'll send that out to you momentarily. Welcome in. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your time. 
Remember to always have a strategy. At least know how you're going to protect your position. If you don't have a price target, that's fine. Just know exactly how much you're going to risk if the market does not do what you thought it was going to do when you enter that position. All right? Keep that positive energy flowing. We'll talk soon. And bye for now. Guys and gals.